Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. On this video, I'm gonna show you how I did my Naruto Nendoroid Diorama Riser. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. And these are all the stuff that you may need. For this project, I use polystyrene foam, which I already pre-cut on my desired dimension. This is optional, but you may use barbecue sticks to reinforce the foam. In my case, I need them just to connect these two cuts. We also need all-purpose glue, your trusty knife or cutter, a ruler, a pencil, some chalks, and our acrylic paints. You might also need some containers where we can mix the paint. You might also want to use the square base of the nendoroid to measure the distance or the space we need for the figure. Now, as I mentioned a while ago, I'm going to connect these two cuts using glue and barbecue stick. And you need to push it through and let it dry. And do this with the rest as needed. Now, take out your nendoroid base to measure the space between the risers. I also use a hot glue to connect the bases faster. Now I'm just going to cut all the extra foam to complete my dimensions. You might need a bigger cutter as my cutter is so small that it takes so much effort. Off come, I cut different sizes of foam to have a little variation in height. Now, what I'm doing is just I'm cutting or like shaping the foams on my desired pegs. What I'm aiming for is to create a mountain scenery. Just continue trimming it on your desired look. Now we're going to grate our chalk to have a chalk powder. We're going to mix the powder with water and some glue. Mix it until we get a paint-like texture. And now we're going to paint it on our foam. It will give a little texture on our foam. As you can see, I also created different sizes of rocks to have more detail. I also put details just like this using cutter. You can just like do this just the way I use my cutter. You can also use a steel brush. On this project, I use my dog's old brush though. Just keep continue doing this until you get to your desired texture. Just get a paintbrush to clean up all the debris. And this is our final diorama and we're ready to paint. First we need our base color. You just need to like mix all the acrylic paints that you might need to get your desired color. Right now, I'm just mixing paint to get a brownish terran color. I also mix it with water to dilute the texture of the paint.
Now, paint it all over our diorama. Right now, I'm loving the base color as it looks so much cooler than I expected it to be. As you can see, we only painted it with base color, but it already looks like a Rocky Mountain. Just keep painting it until we have already covered all the foam. Now, let it dry first before we get to the dry brushing. Right now, I wanted it to have a mossy kind of look. So I'm mixing green and white color and a little yellow. And this is the color I am aiming for. So let's start dry brushing it. At this point, I'm already loving the color of our diorama. But just keep brushing it, dry brushing it until you get to your desired look. To add more a little depth on our diorama, I am mixing a whiter green paint to highlight some areas. And I'm going to use this green paint to have a little more greenish area. As you can see, dry brushing a lighter paint, a lighter color gives more depth on our diorama. And once it dried, I used this wash to highlight the darker areas of our diorama. Now we're going to create our own moss using an old sponge and a blender. Just cut your sponge on small pieces and blend it well until you get your desired sizes. And once you get your desired moss, it's time to paint it with green and let it dry before using it. And this is how it looks like once it dried. I just mix water and glue for our sealant. Just put our sealant where our moss will be. And now we're done. We just have to let it dry before we put our figures. And 
here is our final work. I couldn't be more proud of myself for completing this work. If you like this video, do not forget to leave a like and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Till my next video, bye!